The Red Sox, after long last, made their big splash for the roster over the weekend, bringing in one of the top free agents on the market to fill the hole in their infield. On Sunday, reports emerged and were eventually confirmed that Boston had signed former Colorado infielder Trevor Story to a six-year deal worth $140 million. There is an opt-out after the fourth season, which the Red Sox can negate if they so choose by adding a seventh year worth $20 million. This is far and away the biggest move the Red Sox have made this winter, and the biggest they've made in a few years, so it's time to dust off the scattered thoughts format. I want to start with the off-discussed home-slash-road splits for Story, who over his career has put up a .402 WBA at Coors Field compared to a .321 WBA on the road. That's a stark difference, and basically, just an average hitter on the road. A lot of people, it seems, tend to look at Rockies players' stat lines on the road as representative of their true talent, and thus see Story as a league-average hitter who has benefited from playing at Coors. That's, frankly, just the incorrect way to look at this. There has been plenty of research to suggest that the hangover effect leaving Coors for road games is actually larger than the positive effect of playing at Coors, especially since the humidor was added in 2002. There are some theories about why, though no one knows for sure, but the one that makes the most sense to me is that breaking pitches don't move as much at home, so it's an adjustment moving back and forth between that and then seeing regular movement on the road. I'll drop a bunch of links with longer explanations than this at the bottom of this story, but I wanted to get that out of the way with the first bullet. 